Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Mentor. Hey, I'm here today to give you a review of Scripts, which is actually what I've been just looking at right now. Uh, we're going to give it the Screenwriting uh, Mentor Review, which is my way of scoring how good I think a screenwriting software is. Now, on the final score, we're going to look at five different things. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is price, and then features, ease of use, uh, resources, as well as communication. So those are the five areas that we'll cover today. Now, so stick around to the end of the video and see what I think of how Script stands up. So our first category today is price. And I think everybody's really gonna like the price on this one. It is free. You can't beat that, right? Free is pretty good. Now, there is a big caveat to that. So if you download the software, you'll have a message that pops up and says they're in the process of figuring out their pricing. So it's not gonna be free for long. But there's also some, um, uh, when I was looking through some of their documentation, they were talking about having the screenwriting part free. I don't know if they're going to have some of the pre-work that they use as, as being free. So that's up to debate. But as of right now, as of the time of this video, you can download and use all the features on Scrite for free. And like I said, you can't beat that. Um, and in my opinion right now, since it's free, it's actually better than Kit Scenarist. Shh. Don't say that too loud. I know I'm going to rile some people up there. It can't be better than Kit Scenarist. Now, don't get me wrong. Kit Scenarist is a wonderful program. But there's a lot of other stuff with this particular program that I like a little better. And I'm actually even going to do a versus video between Kit Scenarist and Scrite in the near future. So you can see the differences and the similarities between the two. And you can figure out which of these two programs is better for you. Features is our next category. So we're at Scrite io or script so i apologize i've been switching between the two names it's the same thing i just keep forgetting how to pronounce it correctly so please excuse the bad pronunciation so as we take a look at the website we're going to take a look at some of the features right now uh, so i'm going to go with scrite for right now and you can sort of see again you can have it in pc mac and linux this is the part that I really enjoy. This is one of the reasons I love this software so much is this particular feature here, which is the note cards. And you can sort of see it's nice and it's got this nice video editing type of way of creating your screenplay. So you have sort of like the timeline where you put your videos down here. If you've done any, any type of video editing before, it's very much like a video editor. So you have your raw stuff here and then you have your script here so in, in some sense i should say instead of raw i should say these are your note cards here your script is here and there's a timeline right there it's very much like video editing and it is a fun engaging and productive screenwriting app and the focus is on structure that's what i like the most too so if you're not one who worries about structure so much this is probably not the software for you but if you're like me and you like structure uh, you got a lot of different ways to organize your note cards you never lose sight of the big picture. This software is great if you're doing non-linear storytelling. This is great, and a lot of it's visual, so it'll point arrows to where you, different things are at. So if the script starts here, then moves to here, then over here, you can have, it, it shows a line of how the script progresses throughout. It's got industry standing format. Uh, it does have multiple Indian languages, which I think are awesome for all my Indian uh, viewers. This is great if you uh, want to write in your native tongue. This is probably the only software I've seen so far that, that offers that. So, so something to keep in mind. I love the visual map relationships as I've been working on rewriting one of my scripts. I think it's important to see how each character relates to each other. And so they have a wonderful visual map of that. Great place to capture notes. You can generate reports like very many other types of screenwriting software programs out there. You can synchronize film and screenplay. The other nice thing about this, which I talked about in my first impressions video, was it has this nice thing where it tells you what page you're on, but also tells you how much in screen time that is. So whether it's a second, two minutes, four minutes, you know, where, where are you at in the process of, of the film when you have this particular scene? Another part I really love of love is the library of screenplays you can you can look at. They and here it says they only have seven; they actually have eight. Uh, so this is a wonderful thing too. You can just pull this into your screenwriting software program and read the scripts. I think, like I said, hopefully Final Draft will will pick this up as well too and and make this part of their program. It's just another way to be able to read scripts. 
You can import and export uh, to popular formats as well too. Fountain, I will, as I talked about in my other video, Fountain, when you, you import stuff from Fountain, you really got to go through and check your, your formatting because it doesn't always handle Fountain stuff very well. It'll handle it, but you have to go through and look. Number three, ease of use. Now, I use a lot of screenwriting software programs, more than anybody should actually probably use. Uh, and it's through this knowledge of using all these different types of screenwriting software that I can say that this is not an easy program to use, especially for novice. Um, it also has a different view of how the screenwrite, uh, screenplay is written. So instead of focusing on the basic element of being a page of your screenplay, it focuses on the, the basic element is what is a scene. So everything is made up of scenes. Now you're probably like, well, Paul, isn't that what they do in regular scripts? And it's a little different. If you, the, the beginning element is the page, how you put stuff on the page. And so Scrite does it a little differently. Like I said, if you, as you look at Scrite and you can take a look at the, the video I had for initial impressions of Scrite, that'll give you a little better idea of what I actually mean during that. But this is where the ease of use makes it a little harder because it's coming at it, the design of or, or creating your screenplay from a different space than what most people are used to. So that's why this ease of use isn't as easy. Now, however, it also does something I think that because it's doing this new sort of innovative way of having you put together your screenplay, it does include about an hour video that runs through you how to do the ins and outs of Scrite. And I think that really helps people out. Now, the hard part of that is you can't jump in right away and start typing. You should really go through the video. And I know for some people that's a, that's a, that's a deal breaker and stuff. Um, but I highly suggest it to go through the video because you can really see how, uh, how big of the potential this software has. I mean, it is a game changer in my opinion uh, based on the features that we just learned about. I really like this stuff and I think you might too. But like I said, you have to, to, to ask yourself, am I willing to sit through an hour video or do I just want to get, go ahead and start playing? Number four. So we're going to talk about resources. Now, what I mean by resources is, is there anything extra that the software company does to help new and beginning writers? So one of the things I always check out with any new screenwriting software, do they have a YouTube channel? Hey, we're on YouTube. We might as well see if they have a YouTube channel. Scrite does. They have about uh, about the same amount of uh, subscribers as I have. So they have about 855 at the time of this video. And I'm uh, just at 800. Thank you guys all for subscribing. If you haven't had a chance to yet and you like the video, please subscribe below. And I can't say enough. Thank you all for letting me keep doing these reviews and stuff. Now, as I think about Scrite's channel, there's not a tons of videos on there and they actually haven't posted anything for about seven months, which I think is a missed opportunity. Uh, in addition, there are articles on the Scrite website. And again, you'll have that link in the description below how to get to Scrite. Uh, so there's articles there, but again, most of the articles are referring to, and, and don't get me wrong, this is good uh, as well too, that we, see what the changes are per version, but there does, there's not a lot of articles pertaining to novice writers or just writing in general. Uh, and I think, again, that's a missed opportunity. Number five, communication. So, interesting enough, Scrite does not use email for customer support. You have to use their Discord. Now, call me a boomer. I'm not a big fan of that. So I joined their Discord and I was able to communicate with them I gave them the same question I always, well, that I have used in the past, whether you can use dual dialogue and stuff. Answer, they cannot, and they actually got back to me pretty quickly within about two hours uh, on the Discord message. I already had Discord set up, so I just don't like using Discord. I'd rather have an email. For me, it's a lot easier. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I'm not a big fan of Discord. So, okay, so based on all those things, how would I rate Scrite? Well, I rate on a five reel system with one being, eh, it's okay, or five, it's great. So let's take a look at that first category, price. Where do I rate it? Five reels. It's free. I mean, if you're looking for a screenwriting software, you can't go wrong with this. It's free. I think it's better than Studio Binder. I know I'm gonna be controversial again. I think it's better at this point in time than Kit Scenarist. And like I said, we'll post a video about why I think that. Uh, but you, as always, get, get to be the judge of that. 
Plus overall, I think you get a lot for being free. You get a lot. It's like Kitsuneris in that you get a lot of features. So I think it's, it's a wonderful program for free. Next category is features. And I would give Scrite five, let me get that in there, five reels. It's one of the pr best pre-writing suites of tools I have ever seen in a screenwriting program. Scribe is also invaluable for my viewers who are from India and want to write in their native language. This is one of the cool things about it. There's a lot of, of writers who are from India who are screenwriters, and you can use your own native language. I can't find that in any other screenwriting program. Its screenwriting editor is just fine. It works great. No complaints about that. It also has this nice feature, as I pointed out in the features that um, you can bring in software or screen scripts to look at. And I think that's a, a nice touch. And I wish more screenwriting software would do that. So you can take a look at a script and say, okay, this is how it is. And I think it's always very valuable to read other people's scripts. Finally, I think it's awesome that it's available for Mac, PC, and Linux. Most programs don't do that. So uh, good job, Scrite. Our next category is ease of use. And I give Scrite three reels, boom, ba bam. So the reason why I gave them three reels is because this is not really for novice. If you're not used to writing a screenplay in any type of software, this is gonna be hard to pick up. But as I think about it a little bit more, it might actually not be too bad for novice if you've never used Final Draft or something along those lines. And the reason for that is because they, again, are using a different way to cr create the page. So they're going by individual scenes as opposed to just placing stuff on the page. So that's something new. And for people who are used to using Final Draft or Fade In, this might be off putting to you. This might not help with, it might help make this harder for you to digest and to use. So just be aware of that. Uh, the other thing that uh, to think about is there's an our tutorial to really get to use, to learn how to use Scrite. So the thing about that is I wish they would break that video into like three or four different chunks. Uh, so one that just uses the editor, so you can just see how the editor is used. One that just lets you deal with note cards, one with the with the um, research book or the notebook function, the one with the beat board, uh, that type of stuff. If they had everything broken up into small individual chunks, I think it would be less, um, oh man, can't think of a good word for that. Uh, not necessarily impressive, but intimidating. There we go. It'd be a lot less intimidating if they would come up with these shorter videos for people to look at. Our next category is resources, and Scrite is three reels again. So again, their YouTube channel, they at least have one, so that's a plus, but it's not populated by much. Most of the, uh, the articles on their website, and even the videos on their YouTube channel are more about the updates. There's a couple of good videos that are helpful for beginning filmmakers and stuff like that. Same with the articles, but there's not a lot. So I think this is about average, which is why I gave them three. Now it wouldn't take them very much to get to a four or five. I think just a couple of dedicated people who can work on those, maybe put on an article a week or a video a week or a video every other week, but just to show some more engagement and to help new writers figure out how to do screenwriting, I think if they do that, this would this would really, it would definitely increase their score. Finally, communication. I give them four stars. Now, it could really easily be five. I'm, I'm being picky here. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll just say that. I don't like Discord. I don't like using Discord. Call me a boomer. I'm just not a big fan of that. I'd rather just talk to people in email. It's just an extra step. I'd rather just be able to email you something, set it and forget it. For me, I just don't like Discord. So that's the only reason I gave them a four. If they had an email account, it would have been a five. They are responsive, they're attentive, they work, they're great to work with. So no complaints with that. And like I said, you can do with that score with whatever you, whatever you wish. So out of 25 reels, I give Scrite 20. So it's a great software. I, it's, it's free for, for one. And like I said, if you like pre-work at all, this has one of the best pre-work suites I have seen in any type of software before. Between the cards, between the look at the character relationships, how you can record stuff in the notebook, and how you can move the cards around and do the beatboard stuff. 
I also believe it or not that that basic element of creating everything as a scene has really begun to grow on me and I really enjoy that. I know I'm going to try it for some of my podcast stories that I'm beginning to work on because I need to really flesh stuff out. So if this is what you like, if you're really intentional, if you really like outlining and you really like to know where step by step where your story is going, you're going to really like Scrite. And so I'd highly recommend you picking up Scrite if that's how your workflow is. Now, if that's not for you, I would not look at the software at all. If you're more worried about this, the editor, there's better editors out there. This one's not bad, but there's better editors out there. But if you're looking for pre-work, this is your software. So definitely give it a look before they raise the price if this is something even if you're remotely looking at. Hey everybody, my name is Paul from Screenwriting Mentor. Thank you for joining me for the video today. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. Hey, I look at soft, uh, screenwriting software as well as screenwriting in general. So if these are the type of videos you want, I'm all about helping you write better, giving you resources, being that guy who cheers you on as you get to, uh, get to writing your screenplays. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to hit them up in the comment section below. And I'm always, like I said, I'm always looking to help you out. So if you have any questions about screenwriting, if you have any questions about software, if I don't know the, the answer to that, I will do some digging and hopefully find somebody who can answer your question for you. Well, until the next video, write well and live well.